Good morning, guys. Um, so we got about three inches of snow last night. So it's about time for me to get the drive all cleared off. Um, I'll be using the Sportsman 570 with the plow. Um, I do not have it attached. We'll get this drive cleared off and I'll let you know. This will be about my third or fourth time uh, plowing with it. settings that I use when I plow are all-wheel drive there and I always use it in low. You want to take as much stress off of that uh, transmission as possible so I always run it in low gear uh, because that's your power gear. It gives it a little bit easier of a time powering through that uh, that weight that you're moving with the front end. See, it does a pretty good job of uh, clearing off all the snow. I did have like a thin sheet of ice underneath all this because it did, uh, we had freezing rain last night that turned to snow. So anyway, uh, it does glide a little bit easier over this with that. But if you're doing a concrete drive like I am, um, make sure you have your shoes adjusted to the proper height because like this little edge right here i will clip it and you probably saw it during the video um i clip it but those these heavy duty springs do a pretty good job of letting that plow um, ride over that but it's just something to be mindful of i wouldn't go ramming around your drive because you'll 
probably take a nice chunk out of that, out of the concrete if you do it hard enough. I am looking into getting a uh, polyurethane, I think, the guard. Um, so we'll see how that works out. It might be a little more gentle on the concrete, but uh, yeah, it took me, it takes me like five, five to 10 minutes to get my sidewalk all the way up and um, all my drive done. So a lot faster than a snowblower and sure is a heck of a lot faster than doing it by hand. If at all possible, I would mount this as close to the front as it allows in the instructions because it'll give you more clearance on the when you're raising it up with the winch um, because that extra clearance does come in handy. Uh, I know a couple of you guys commented on that and uh, I'm gonna see if I can mount this possibly in a different spot like bring it up a little higher than where I have it. You can check out my previous video, but I have it mounted pretty pretty much right underneath the battery on this. I wouldn't go over three quarters of the uh, height of the plow in snow depth. Otherwise, you'd be pushing this thing pretty good, but the Sportsman 570 is handling the weight adequately. It's a heavy plow, but it's doing just fine. Um, I don't have any worries about the uh, front suspension not being able to handle it. Um, so I'll keep rocking with this setup. Um, like I said, sure does beat it, doing it by hand. Another thing to be mindful of when you're doing this is where the drive and the grass meet. Because if you get that plow dug in there good enough, it'll take a divot. It could make a mess real quick. So I usually just kind of just come to the edge where I stop plowing. My actual grass line starts about right, right here. So. Just keep that in mind. Uh, that and just the corners of your concrete. Be mindful of where those high edges are. Um, but anyways, just have fun doing it. It's a fun, it's pretty fun. It's still work, but it is fun to clear your drive now. You know, I used to do it by hand. Uh, I put in my dues with that, believe me. But, uh, you know, this is the way to go. You get it done in like five to seven minutes, have a little bit of fun doing it. And, um, uh, you know, my driveway is a little bit small, but I don't plan on living here forever. When I move, I'm gonna get some land. So I do anticipate having uh, a lot more drive to plow and clear out in the future. So um, why not have it now? Kind of enjoy it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. 